Hey, what's up, everyone? I figured I'd get a chance to do a, a quick uh, thoughts of what I um, had to say about um, the Clint Eastwood movie Cry Macho. And of course, this is his uh, first on screen acting role since uh, The Mule Back, you know, from 2018. And of course, you wonder where the movie gets its title from. But, uh, Macho is, uh, is, you know, named after the, the character's. Uh, uh, chicken, you know, Raphael, the boy that uh, uh, Clint Eastwood characters Mike, you know, encounters to reunite him with his father. So the basic story is Clint Eastwood plays a former rodeo ho rodeo horse uh, back uh, rider, you know, who was forced to retire due to an injury. And of course, you know, um, he ends up, you know, going to Mexico, you know, to help, I guess, one of his uh, business associates. You know, try to bring his son uh, to the states over some kind of investment or something uh, like that. But I would have to say, even though I am a big, uh, I mean, I'm a fan of Clint Eastwood, but I kind of felt it wasn't one of his best works. I mean, I mean, acting and directing wise. I mean, while he does bring the charm and wit, and for 91 years old, it's you know, it's amazing that he can still pull it off. But I kind of felt like the problem I had with it that was the actor who played the Raphael character it was almost like. The acting, I don't know, maybe it was the accent that made it kind of cringeworthy to me, That, but that's just my personal opinion. And I also felt like the kind of story I wanted to tell was like, they didn't want to tell a story between like uh, the younger or the older generation, like a father-son type story. Was it like, I guess like, you know, what's, you know, the, I guess the crime and stuff in Mexico, like, it was, it was like, it was almost like it was trying to do too many things at once instead of having more of like a singular focus like a better it could have been better with like a better narrative and i would say like his other works like million dollar baby in my personal opinion it was a far superior movie i mean i know there are probably others that would disagree but like i've always said to each uh their own so i mean i would say it's not as bad as critics made it out to me but like i said i felt realistically it could have just been a little bit better had it you know you know tried to you know, tighten the grip narratively or try to, you know, more of a, like a focus, you know, since it kind of felt like in certain places it was like all over the place, but that's just my opinion, so that's all I have to say about this one. All right, everyone, thanks again.